If you're watching this now, there's a good chance that you have a pretty good idea of what you want to do with the rest of your life. There's also a chance that you have no idea what you want to do with the rest of your life. Now myself, when I was 18 years old, when I was thinking about going to college, I was the first. I had a really good idea of what I wanted to do. I am a child of the 80s, MTV generation, and I knew, I knew I wanted to study film and I wanted to become a music video producer. So I did. I went to study film uh, at university. And when I got out of university, I knew exactly what I didn't want to do, and that was make music videos. So, uh, I, I, because I, came a lot, I became very interested in things like advertising and um, marketing and that sort of stuff. So what I did is I got a job uh, with Time Warner, which is a big media company uh, making advertisements. And I did that for about three or four years. But I wasn't really happy with where I was because I moved back to my hometown in Texas. So I decided I want to go somewhere else but do the same thing. And I got uh, a job offer at Time Warner in New York City. New York City. So they flew me out there to check out the place, got off the plane. No disrespect, it was New Jersey. It was not New York City. It was nowhere near New York City. I was like, I want to live in New York City. And I said, Somerville, New Jersey, it's only an hour away. So I decided I didn't want to do that. Uh, and I had met a guy who was living in Prague. And I thought, that sounds great. Because if I stay here, if I come to New Jersey, people are nice. The place is nice. The work is nice. But I'm going to have to grow up. I'm going to have to get a house, get a dog get a car, get a wife. And I said, you know what, maybe I'll just uh, escape. I'll escape growing up for a year. So I came to Prague. And I came to Prague with the intention of working here, just teaching English like everybody else for about a year and then going back to the US and continuing my career. That one year turned into three years and after three years I said, this is it, I gotta stop. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be a salesman. I got the opportunity to be a salesman, and I was like, ah, this is it. This is what I should do. It's in my blood. My dad's a salesman. I'm going to be a salesman. And I did it, and it was terrible. It was an awful experience. Uh, almost from day one, I hated every minute of it. <clears throat> and so uh, after about a year of that, I said, I can't do this anymore. And I, I decided to go back and try teaching again, because I still wanted to live in Prague. I loved it here. Um, and so I went back and it was, it was completely different. Um, I had a different position, working with a different firm. I was doing a little bit of different stuff. I was still teaching English, but I was also uh, teaching trainers. And I was able to make my own programs. And for the first time, I was actually able to own my job. I was owning what I was doing. <clears throat> At that moment, I thought back. Uh, to when I was 21 and I graduated, I thought to myself, I don't really know what I want to do with the rest of my life. But this is what my 21 year old said, uh, my 21 year old self. He said, uh, I don't know what I want to do, but I know that by the age of 27, I'm going to be in the right career. And by the age of 47, I'm going to be at the top of that. So at the age of 27, I found myself in Prague teaching English. And I said, wait a second, this is my career? Well, uh, a couple years later, I got to a couple different jobs, and um, in the end, I find myself now, at the age of 43, teaching at a, a, a wonderful university, um, meeting amazing people, and I would never, never imagine that um, I would be here at this stage in my career. I, you know, I thought I was going to be uh, making music videos, and I thought I was going to be making advertisements and marketing, and then I thought I was going to be in sales. And each time, uh, I tried it, and it just wasn't for me, and I had to give it up. And it's really hard to give something up that you've been working for, working really hard on. <clears throat> but it just, it was right, it felt right here. And uh, when I got to teaching, uh, especially the second time, it really felt like the right thing to do. And I guess what I'm trying to say is um, people will tell you what to do. And they'll tell you what career to have. 
And you'll tell yourself what career you want to have. But whenever the opportunity comes to do what you feel is right, take it. Even though you, you say, oh, I'm not going to be that person, you become that person. And, and just, you know, it's going to be fine. You're going to be fine.